Womajeka, welcome to the land of my ancestors. We welcome you here today wherever you are from and we acknowledge the land of our peoples. We ask that you enjoy yourself today, but most of all, you are kind to everyone you meet. Again, Womajeka, welcome. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> now we can start. Here we go. Okay. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Nativity Play. We can't meet together, but we can still celebrate this amazing season. We're here to tell you the story of the very first Christmas. <laughs> but we'll do it in an unusual but safely socially distanced way. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay, Bubba? <coughs> okay, okay. Hello, Mr. Daniel Andrews. Uh, <coughs> okay. Um, are we ready? Can, can, can I start? Are you okay over there? Are we okay over there? Yeah, everybody ready? Okay. <coughs> Since January, there have been 41 million and one tests. That's um, 39 million 285,642 tests since my last press conference. I'm very happy to say that there are no puppets who have COVID-19, and no puppets have been infected, and we have no mystery cases. Therefore, this, this puppet show, this uh, nativity play, has been deemed to be COVID safe. So well done, Victoria, well done. I'm proud of each and every one of you, apart from you. You I'm not proud of, but everybody else I'm very, very proud of. Well done, we're nearly there. Keep going, keep going. But remember, if you have any symptoms, however slight, please, please, please get tested. We surely will. Thank you. Join us now as we begin this play with our first carol. <laughs> I'm Mary and I'm going to be married to Joseph. He's a carpenter. He built that sign over there. Oh, oops. I never said he was any good, did I? Hello, sheep. What are you doing here? Bah. Uh, really? I thought the library was still shut. Bah. Bah, bah. Oh, sorry. You're studying the guttural mutations in the Welsh and are having trouble with the ng mm sound. Nah. Don't worry, sheep. Everybody does.
Bah! Woo! Hey, one and a half meter distance, please. You're not even wearing a mask. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Is, is that better? Hello, Mary. I'm Gabriel. You can call me Gabe. I live with God, and I'm here to bring you a message from God himself. I've recorded it on my iPhone. Shall I play it for you? You're who? You live where? You have a what? I'm an angel, and my name is Gabriel. I live with God in heaven, and he has asked me to bring you a message. I've videoed it on my iPhone. Do you want to see it? We can zoom if you like but he's busy until 12.45 with the Melbourne Welsh Church coffee and chat. He goes every week. Really? I mean, I know I was in lockdown for 100 days, but I don't think I've gone crazy. Am I seeing things? No, no, you're fine. I am Gabriel, and I do have a message from God for you. Here, watch this. Hello, Mary. Do not be afraid. I'm very pleased with you, and because of that, you are going to have a child, and he will be great and will be called the Son of God, that, that's me, and you will name him Jesus. Uh, uh, how can that be? Uh, the Holy Spirit will be with you. <laughs> and to prove this, your cousin Elizabeth, who people said could never have a child, is going to have a baby. I'm going now, thank you. How do I turn this off? Which button do I push? Gabriel! Gabriel, which button do I push? Really? This is really gonna happen? Well, in that case, so be it. I've told you once, and I've told you before, I am not going to some trip to some place I've never heard of in Israel. It's in the middle of a pandemic, for crying out loud. Because you've seen another star... It's not a star. It's the star of a king. An important one. Look at the size of it. Oh, that's the moon. That's no moon. It's a star. Seriously? Seriously. And what's more, I've read it in my stars in the Herald Sun down here. Listen. Ari Starikon, today you will meet a new friend who will not be what you expect. And, oh, you will discover a new star that will point you to the Messiah. See, it even says it here. Show me that. It does say that. And under mine, it says that I will make a life decision that may not be in my best interest. Cool! I think I'll start smoking. Let's go to Jerusalem then, shall we? Yes, let's go and see the new king. We should take a present. Uh, probably. Let's see what we've got. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, we have Lego. No. A PS5. No, that's mine. A yo-yo. Not too cheap. Uh, uh, is that me? That's Brom that Brahmin gave me that last Christmas. I don't want it. Let's re-gift it. And I've got some smelly stuff in the cupboard that I got for my birthday. Frank and sense. Oh, the toilet. That'll do. What was that? that? Oh, I just uh, fell over this huge bag of gold M&Ms on my way in. Is this yours? Not mine. Oh, it's not mine either. Maybe we should give it to the king. What king? The new king. That's his star. And we're going to visit him today. Ooh, can I come? You I've never been to see a king. You need to be wise to come with us. Are uh, you wise? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shut up my line. Oh, yes. Are oh, you oh. wise? Come with us. Come with us. I, yes, I am Permit the Wise Frog. Don't you know? I say wise stuff all the time on Twitter. Here's today's. You don't need to wear a mask because COVID is a hoax. It's just the flu. See, I'm the biggest wiseacre there is. I'd love to come with you. When do we leave? Let's go. Ooh, yay! Yeah. I've never actually followed a star. Is it difficult? No.
Joseph. Joseph. Joseph! Uh, 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 what? What, what, what's going on? What's going on? I heard me. I was trying to be quiet. What are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, not so well, actually. I, I, I've been building, I said, a godly playroom, and it's been taking me ages. And my saw broke yesterday, and I need a new hammer. Mine are dents in it. But apart from that, I suppose I'm okay. Really? Are you sure? It says in my script that you should be very, very upset with Mary. Uh, uh, what version do you have? Gabriel with a very strange voice. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Wait, what, what, what version do you have? Uh, 1.3, isn't that the one we're using? Uh, no, no, we're up to 2.4 now. We cut out the old Joe upset with Mary thing. It's God's doing, so you know it's going to be okay. Check your email. You should have seen the new script by now. Actually, it says here that you should be visiting the hills of Bethlehem looking for frog herds. Don't you mean shepherds? <laughs> Just you wait and see. It's frog herds, mate. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Can we start now? Okay, are you ready over there? Yeah, I'm ready over there? Good, good. Since January, there has been a total of 47,875,376 tests. That's 6,875,375 more tests than yesterday. And I'm pleased to inform you that there have been no new cases in Victoria, uh, that we only have one mystery. The m mystery is, why on earth is there a frog in our nativity play? With that good news, I'm going to announce that from 11.59 p.m. tonight, all Victorian puppets can travel freely within Victoria, and furthermore, we're going to need a census to see how many Victorian puppets there actually are. So each puppet will need to go to his own hometown and register. Quirinius, who is the governor of Syria, of course, is doing the same thing, so we're keeping Victoria at the forefront of world censuses. And if you have any symptoms, remember, however mild, please get tested. I need to keep you a bit more informed, so uh, here's Brett Mutton with the, uh, a bit more information on this for you. Thank you, Premier. Yes, as of tonight, all Victorian puppets need to register so that we can figure out where everybody is. Bye. Are there so many songs about Wayne <gasps> Oh! Do not be afraid, my good shepherds! Uh, frog herds. We, we herd the frogs, look. The shepherds are over that hill over there. That hill there? The, the hill over there. Oh, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Uh, no problems. Okay. Near, far, wherever you Don't are. Don't be oh. afraid, my good shepherds. Oh, we're not. We've been expecting you. The old frog heard from over the hill sent us a text, didn't he? Oh. Oh. Oh, good. Then I, think I can forget the first half of my speech. Yeah, you can. I'm sure it's the same as, as, as last year's nativity, isn't it? Listen, it goes like this. For behold, I bring you glass tidings. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I've changed it up a bit. It's glad tidings, not class tidings anyway. Listen, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you and you will find the baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. See, different version. I use the NIV, not the King James this year. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Thanks, Gabby. The choir are great this year. They sound really good. Really, really good. Uh, see you again next year, eh? Yeah. Bye. Right. Who said it last year? Was it you? No, uh, yes, it was. Uh, let's let the new boy say it, eh? Okay, seems fair to me. New boy, your turn. 
Wow, thanks guys. I feel so honored to be asked to be the one just to get to do with it. The... We've got to go. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Yay! Thanks, guys. I've wanted to do that for years. Oh, come on. Let's go. All right. <laughs> okay. Catch up time. A lot has happened since we last saw you. Here are the highlights. Mary cousin, Mary's cousin Elizabeth did have a baby. They called him John. Oh, such a nice name. Aww. Then Joseph heard the Premier's announcement and with their masks on, Mary and Joe have left Nazareth and are on their way up here to Bethlehem because that's where Joe comes from. <laughs> that's good. That the wise men, as a frog, that they've left their homes and they're heading for Jerusalem to meet with King Herod. For the purpose of the production, it will be played by Daniel Andrews. This is in no way to be taken as a dig at our Premier's great work or all that he's done for us this year. It is just that we only have 11 puppets and we have to have a Herod. <laughs> Mr. Andrews will also be playing the king, no one the kind innkeeper, to balance out his roles. And the shepherds are also making their way here. We have checked with DHHS. Did you see how I said that in Australia? That was very good. <laughs> yes. They checked with DHHS and are within the perimetered, no, permitted number of puppets to gather in the stable. But before all that, this.
almost ready for the press conference. Can we please put those decent dots uh, only 1.5 metres apart, please? Because uh, that's good. They're not cheap, you know, so we need to do it properly. There we go. Thank you. Oh, oh, who are you, guys? Who are you? Do you have any symptoms, however mild, of a cough or a cold? If so, get tested. Have you been out of the country in the past two weeks? Stay back and where are your masks? So, so uh, who are you and why are you here? We are Magi, Your Majesty, and we have come to say congrats. We heard the good news. How is the little one? Oh, yes. Well done, Your Kingship. You look so manly. Where, where is the prince? Uh, little one? Prince? What are you talking about? New baby was born to the king of the Jews. We saw his star and followed it here. Uh, uh, king of the Jews? Following stars? Have you been drinking? Have you come from New Zealand? Have you been in quarantine? <laughs> Take a breath and let's explain what's going on here, Your Majesty. We'll do it in a song. Are we ready, guys? And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Oh, stop it! There'll be no singing in this palace. Just tell me in words, no music, slowly. We are stargazing. All right, all right. Speak normally, will you? You sound like you come from Kyneton. <laughs> Thank you. We, we were stargazers, Your Majesty, and we saw a new star in the heavens, and we did the research, and we saw it was a sign. A new king of the Jews has been born, and we've come all the way here to worship him. We bring gifts for him. We've got a big bag of gold, and he's got some myrrh, and we've got a guy outside named Frank who has some sense. I suppose kings do need people with some good sense around them, don't they? I would change the name to, though, Gerard with sense makes, sounds better. Slus, you know. It's a, a new it, king? What? A new king? I don't know what you're talking about. I can check with my chief med medical examiner and get back to you. Hang on. Brett! Stop. Brett! Come here! Come here! <laughs> Your Majesty, you bleed it. Uh, this, is, this is Brett Mutton, my chief medical officer and all round advisor. Y yes. Yes, Your Majesty, you bleed it. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, my wife didn't have a baby this week, did she? I haven't been home since March because of all these press conferences and COVID scares. Uh, I've had to do something every day, but I think she would have mentioned it. Mm, no, Your Majesty, she most certainly didn't. There are no oh, oh, mysteries here. No mystery cases, especially no mystery ba babies. Are, are you sure she was in hotel quarantine for a while? I'm sure, sir. Right. Well, check your books and let me know where the new King of the Jews will be born, will you? Oh, that's an easy one. It was in the Welsh Church Christmas Quiz last week. In Bethlehem, of course, also known as Ephratha. I got bonus points for knowing that. Well, oh, thank you. Now go away, and I want to talk to these learned gentlemen and their pet. Now, why don't you all toddle off to Bethlehem and see this new king fellow, and when you find him, let me know, and I'll send, uh, send my contact tracing team to, to have a word with him. Off you go, then. Bye now. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> yes, I'll send my contact tracing team, the one in a big black van. <laughs> it's no good, Joe. Nowhere has room. Maybe we could try in St. Kilda? Oh, look, we'll find something. Here, let's try on this door. Uh, hello, my fellow Victorians. Uh, how can I help you on this fine non-lockdown day? We need room, please. I'm going to have a baby, and there's no room anywhere at all. Can you help us, please? Well, well, every Victorian deserves a roof over their heads, and my government pledges to see this done by 2022. Uh, yeah. Well, see, that's good, but um, we need the room now, not in 2022. Ah, well, yeah, well yes, I see. Um, uh, let's see what we can do then. <clears throat> well, there's the Morrison suite, but that's no good. We spent a lot of money on it, and now it costs too much to take care of, and it isn't very stylish. Oh, and it's already taken. Uh, the Palaszczuk wing is closed off, and no one can get in, and the, the Beresiglian wing is also closed off, but could reopen at any time now, but it's not open at the minute. I'm sorry, uh, all we have is the Albanese room. We'll take uh, it. Uh, uh, it's not very nice. We'll take it. Uh, when I say it's not very nice, I am, of course, using politi political rhetoric. It's awful. It's actually just a stable. We'll take it. We don't care. 
We'll take it, as long as it has good support. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's go this way, shall we? Okay. Oh, Joe, isn't he beautiful? We will call him Jesus. Uh, he's a miracle, Mary. How in the world did all these people know we were here? Well, oh, uh, can, we, can we just watch? Oh, yeah, of course you can. Just got to be quiet, that's all, because Jesus is asleep. Wow, is he really the Messiah? He's very small. You heard what the angel said. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Yes, he is the Messiah. Uh, and we've got nothing to offer him, but we were told to come by a choir of angels. Thank you for letting us see him. We've seen quite a few angels around this place. This is a very special child. Oh. Well, you look far too important to be in a cattle shed, but here you are, getting dirty. We are not important. He is. He is the new king. Hail your majesty. Here we bring gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Thank you, three wonderful treasures. But there's only one of you. Where are the other two? The third guard, <coughs> beg your pardon, the other two guard our camels. South Bank is a rough neighbourhood. Besides, this stable can only hold seven. It said so on the door. Oh, we've seen the Messiah, we've seen the Messiah. Praise God. Let's go and tell everybody that we've seen the Messiah. Come on, guys, let's go. What's that? What's what? Oh, that. That's an angel. Everybody knows that. Hello, angel. Ah, uh, yeah, g'day. Uh, hello, Melchior. I'm Gabriel. Nice to see you again. 
And how are you, Belshazzar? And you must be Gaspar. No, I'm Permit the Wise Frog. I have a Twitter account. Search for it for Real Permit the Frog. Well, Gaspar retired last year and moved to the Gold Coast to spend more time with his money, as the saying goes. Ah, OK. And so you decided to bring along a frog. Oh, where you are from Sydney, I assume that's normal there. Hey, listen, the kings in Jerusalem does not have the best interest of that baby at heart. It would be best if you went home via the back roads and not the freeway. Uh, just a suggestion. Oh, well, thanks, Gabriel. We'll head home the long way. I've always wanted to see the submarine in Holbrook. What a good idea. Ah, uh, take care, you guys. Travel safe. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? That was beautiful. Such a great story. It's almost as good as being in church to watch it. Yes, it's a shame we couldn't all get together, but we had to keep everybody safe. <laughs> Next year we may be able to sit together again in church and watch the nativity. <laughs> Talking of church, what's going on this week? Well, tonight we have an online carol service at 6 p.m. on Zoom. Everyone is welcome, and we can have a great sing-along. I'm going to watch on mute and eat mince pies all night long with wine. <laughs> and then, and then on, on, on Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday, it's the 23rd anyway, <laughs> we've, got, we've, we've got that Christmas catch-up on Zoom. Whenever you want to drop in, we'll all be there <laughs> and we can do that. And, and then we're also going to have that Christmas quiz where, where one of the questions will be, where was Jesus born? And you get a bonus point for Ephrathah. So you see who is paying attention. <laughs> on, 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 on the 24th at 7 p.m. we've got a special Christmas Vespers. Now, that'll be fun too. <laughs> and then on Christmas Day we will have a special 30 minute service at 9 a.m. on Facebook for the big day. Uh, remember, for to us uh, a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Uh, and he will be called Wonderful. Counselor. The mighty God, the everlasting Father, the, the Prince, Prince of, of Peace. Peace.
Okay. To us, a child is born. And the government no, shall be... No, 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 no! Oh! To us, a child Ooh. is born. Oh! Oh, he's got his knickers in a twist. Okay, let's do that bit again. Oh, boy. Guys, that's the nativity done.